Welcome to Viscount's organ tutorial series for 2020, which we're recording this year in the Church of St Margaret's, Oxford. I'm Francis Rumsey, and in this series I'll be discussing with Jonathan Kingston how organists might perform various wedding and memorial pieces on the organ. We're using a Viscount Envoy 35F Physis-based digital organ which offers a lot of registration flexibility over two manuals and pedals. All of the pieces we'll be looking at are arrangements of works for ensembles, and there aren't really any rules about how they should be rendered for the organ, but we hope you'll enjoy hearing some of our ideas about how it might be done. The fourth piece featured in our wedding and memorial music series is Handel's Arrival of the Queen of Sheba. It's a good piece to end a wedding with, although sometimes I think may maybe it ought to be called the departure of the Queen of Sheba in that case. But um, Jonathan, this was um, an orchestral symphonia originally, so we're trying to get something of the sound of bright string figurations and then some woodwind contrasts, I think, in these little intervening sections. So what sort of registration scheme might we use to good effect on the organ here? Yeah, on, on, on this organ here, I have, um, working from the bass up, I've got a, a, a pedal violone or open metal, which is quick speaking and provides a, a, a good amount of foundation tone um, at 16 foot pitch with the broad and the bass flute, coupled to the swell, which I have set up uh, to two foot with the oboe in order to highlight some of the, the woodwind uh, colour that you mm. mentioned. And on the grate, um, I have some quick speaking flutes at eight and four capped with a two foot fifteenth uh, for the right hand. You can just give a, a little sample of the beginning to yeah. hear how it sounds. <laughs> Excellent, great. And um, we really do need the pedals here, don't we? I've tried to play this once on an organ with no pedals and it's almost impossible, That's brave. I think. Yes, yeah. indeed, yeah. I, I think it, it, well, it needs the pedal line if you want your accompaniment or your accompanimental chords to be separate. Otherwise, you'd have to consider some of that bass line movement yeah. being figured into the left hand yes. figures, um, which would make things quite congested. And it busy. keeps it moving, doesn't yes. it? Yeah. And um, so would you, you've got a separate registration for the pedals, haven't you? But, oh yes, coupled to the swell. That's right. Yes, for definition, really. And it's important not to take off at too fast a speed with this piece, isn't it? Because it can get fairly hairy. It can, yes, it can. Um, it's, it's, it's good to remain as, uh, as steady, whilst at the same amount of time, I think the, uh, the semi-quavers that, that, that the handle wrote give, give the impression of enough movement without one going... Uh, totally held for leather. Mm. And those semi-quavers in thirds, in those little woodwind yes. configurations, um, we need to split them between the hands, really. That's right. It's, it's certainly marked like that in my edition um, here. Yeah, the, 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 the right hand um, can either go on to a, a choir organ or can stay on, on to the grate as the principal, um, as the principal line, uh, accompanied in thirds by the, um, by the stops of the swell. Can we just hear that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and so um, we need, again, well, I think I turned pages for you in this, don't I? Um, so uh, it's one of those that's fast and furious and that needs somebody really there if possible. It's quite good to have an assistant, <laughs> yes, yes, in, yes. Order to, in order to assist with page turns so that uh, uh, all, all, the, all the harmonies and uh, a melodic detail can be, um, uh, can be put across reliably. Yeah. Yes, okay, very good. So we'll look forward to hearing you play this then. Thank you. Thank you. 